Hi there, welcome to the Top Dog Tips YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna be talking about when your dog has red eyes. Here's why and what to do. Before we get into that, please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as subscribe to our website, topdogtips.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description below, you will receive a free ebook on 25 vet recommended homemade dog food recipes. So without further ado, let's get into it. So dog's eyes are much like humans. They look bright and clear when they're healthy when something is wrong, your pet's eyes may look pink or ruddy, which is usually signs of irritation. Now you're asking yourself, my dog has red eyes, what is going on? There are several culprits that could result in red eye symptoms in dogs. Number one, allergies. Your dog may be experiencing seasonal allergies, which result in red eyes caused by the environment, or in some cases brought on by diet. The best way to tackle this is by tracking when a dog has a red eye outbreak. If it's only during a specific part of the year, then simple dog eye drops like NutriVet will help relieve eye redness in your dog. Number two, cherry eye. If you see a bulge of pink, usually near the corner of the eye closest to the dog's nose, it's likely a condition called cherry eye. Dogs have a third eyelid that you can't normally see. This pops out in some animals who have weak ligaments holding that lid in place. There are certain breeds that have this kind of issue or more prone to this issue. Those are beagles, bloodhounds, bulldogs, cocker spaniels, lhasa apsos, maltese, poodles, pugs, and shih tzus. The usual treatment for cherry eye in dogs is surgery on the third island because the gland produces about half of your dog's tear film. Without this, your dog can move into the dry eye symptoms, which impairs a dog's vision over time. Most dogs recover from cherry eye surgery within a few weeks. Number three, corneal damage. Anything that damages a dog's cornea can cause red eyes due to irritation. For example, if a dog's eye gets poked with by a weed while they're sniffing around, or if you have a cat and they scratch your dog's eye, Corneal damage in dogs typically heals in about three days. You may have to administer antibiotic eye drops prescribed by a veterinarian for pain and prevent potential eye infections. Number four, dry eyes. Dry eyes are fairly common in kitten and dogs. When your dog's eyes don't produce enough tears to keep them moist, it also increases the chance of unwanted agents entering them. If it's dry eyes that's causing redness, your veterinarian will typically prescribe a special eye drop that not only soothes the eye and improves tear production in your dog, but also washes out any debris or also treat any infection. Number five is glaucoma. Glaucoma is a fluid buildup in your dog's eye, which over time can lead to blindness. If this is the case, the dog's eye may look a little swollen. This is a severe condition that requires vet attention as soon as you notice symptoms. Number six, ingrown eyelids. In the case of entropion in dogs, your pet's eyelids roll inward and cause them discomfort. It can also result in damage. Breeds that are commonly susceptible to ingrown eyelids are Akitas, American Stafford Terrier, Basset Hound, Bloodhound, Bulldog, Adam Dalmatian, Great Danes, the Great Pyrenees, the Irish Setter, the Mastiff, the Old English Sheepdog, the Pomeranian, the Sharpe, the Spaniel, and the Rottweiler. This condition requires surgical correction. Number seven is pink eye, also known as conjunctivitis. Pink eye in dogs occurs when the inner eyelid becomes inflamed, as you see this as pinkness. Conjunctivitis may be contagious to other pets, particularly if it is bacterial-based. Treatments include artificial tears, steroid eye drops, and cool eye compressors when your dog is resting. Many times, your dog's red eyes are a temporary reaction to some irritation. However, red eyes can indicate underlying medical problems like diabetes or hypothyroidism. Symptoms that show that something more going on includes constant eye watering, discharge that's like yellow or green, mucus discharge, rubbing of their eyes on furniture, squinting, or frequent blinking. Make sure you take note of all of these symptoms if you see any of these. Let's talk about diagnosis of red eyes in your dog. When you take your dog to the vet for red eye symptoms, what can you expect? The exact diagnosis of Red eyes in your dog depends on what your vet expects, but here are a few things that happen. They will possibly do some blood tests. A blood screening can detect underlying illnesses that could be causing eye redness and irritation. An eye exam, this way a vet knows exactly what part of your dog's eye is red. Your vet may track your dog's vision and examine the structure of your dog's eye. Fluorescent eye drops, these reveal corneal scars or scratching. Internal pressure tests, a tonometer reads the pressure of your dog's eye to rule out glaucoma. A Shermer tear test. These measure tear production. The test consists of small strips of paper held in the dog's lower eyelid. Your dog may fuss a bit, but it's not painful. During this test, your vet may collect some fluid and check it for bacteria. Treatment instructions. Ensure your vet tech shows you how to administer any recommended medications. 
such as applying eye ointment or drops. If it turns out that there's a serious cause for your dog's red eyes, you may have to go to the specialist for further examination and treatment. Now let's talk about how to keep your dog's eyes healthy. Start by paying close attention to your dog's eyes regularly. Look for any signs of discharge or crusting. The area around the eyeball should be white and bright. Any change in color, cloudiness, or uneven pupils means a vet visit is in order. Even the tiniest of dogs will sometimes have an eye gunk or eye boogers in the corner of their eye. Clean this out gently using a damp cotton ball. While you are there, take a look at the lining of your canine's eyelids. It should be pink, not red or white. If you have a long haired dog, keep the fur away from their eyes and ensure that area remains well groomed. Those long hairs can scratch your dog's eyes, believe it or not. For dogs who love to travel with their head out the window, Make sure you get some dog goggles. The wind can bring all types of debris with it, injuring your dog's eyes. And last but not least, keep your eyes on your dog's behavior and appearance and have your vet conduct annual eye exams. So you also may be asking, how can I treat my dog's eyes, red eyes at home? Start by checking the eye for a foreign object. You can also use a saline solution to remove a foreign body. If you can't figure out the problem, take your dog to the vet to ensure it's not a serious injury. Trying to remove a foreign body yourself could result in excessive tearing of the eye. So always be careful, tearing and scratching. So you could always scratch it yourself by um, trying to help and making it worse. You don't wanna make your dog's eye injury worse accidentally. Also, how can I treat my dog's eye infection if you know it's an eye infection without going to the vet if your dog has an eye infection he needs the appropriate treatment unfortunately only a vet can provide it you can use a saline rinse if you only notice minor issues like watery discharge and slight redness but make sure to take your dog to the vet for minor to serious eye problems including unusual eye discharge another question you might ask is does cherry eye hurt your dog Cherry eye is not an emergency, but it can irritate your dog. It can lead to pain and even blindness. It can cause infection in the dog's eyes as well. Well, that's gonna do it for us here at Top Dog Tips. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. With that, I will talk to you soon. I hope you have a great day.